Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Tales of Arise. So today we're going to be doing some side quests. Uh, last time I said we we're going to go to Lanigus, but we'll do one episode of side quest. So I used a DLC, right, to level up to level 53 because some of the side quests are like the monsters. I mean, the bosses are like level 54, level 53. Yeah, in the 50s. And it's super hard. And I want to do the side quest like now. <laughs> I don't want to do it later. Maybe we'll do some later as well. But right now, I want to do the side quest. And I can't do them. Or I can't fight the enemies. Because they deal so much damage on lower levels, right? So yeah, I increased my level. So if you see like why am I level 50? Like 54. Yeah, 54 there. <laughs> it's because I used one. I think so yeah, let's do this here. one. Let's do the side quest here in Vicent. Good grief. There she goes. Lost in another one of her books. Hey. Hey. Hey, Renwell. Whoa. Uh, what's got you all work up the bird? <laughs> I ain't doing anything wrong. Huh? Uh, what is it, Law? Need something? No, I just wanted to make sure you were still paying attention since you had your nose bared in that dusty old book. The dusty old book is a valuable artifact, one that I think was written right after the Great Conquest. For real? For real. <laughs> What's it say? Anything neat? Well... Uh, I don't know that I would call it neat, but I definitely found something intriguing. It mentions something about a phantom flower of Nevira. Huh? Nevira as in Nevira Snow Plains near Sisloden, the one through the lake? Yeah. Yep, the one and only. The book claims that a long time ago, there used to be a beautiful flower along the banks that could only be seen at night. Well, if that's true, how come I haven't heard of this flower until now? We both know how dark it used to be until Alpha and Xion came along. Maybe nobody went out of their way to look for it. Plus, the period of darkness in Cislodia wasn't natural nighttime either. I guess... I mean, that's a good point. You want to go investigate it and see if it's true then? Huh? Really? You'd help me look for it. Oh, but we don't have that kind of time to spare right now, do we? You wanna find it, don't Got you? It. Then let's ask the group if we can search for it. Next time we're in the area. Sound good? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Law. <laughs> the Phantom Flower of Navira. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about seeing one. <laughs> me too. Okay, we'll do this. The Phantom Flower of Navira. I already did some side quests off uh the videos of the Let's Play. And yeah, it was just like a basic fetch quest. Okay, what's this other one? Let's also accept this one. Oh? My, it seems like you're carrying a rare book there, young lady. Yeah. Oh, this thing? To be fair, looks in general are pretty rare across Dana. Even so, I can tell it's particularly unique and special. As the librarian here, I couldn't ask to you to consider donating it to me, could I? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I could part with this one. I need this book to fight Zoogles and stuff. Why? Goodness, I had no idea there were uh, any such books used for combat. All the more reason I, s I simply must get my hands on it. Lord Doha? Lord Doha? Sweetie, you must convince her to part with it somehow. Please. What? I must. To be quite honest, I would rather she hold onto it as well. Hmm. But I, Tigrina, was appointed by you to serve as the palace's librarian, so as to keep this precious book safe for future generations. You must do something. I simply can't do my job without having books I need in my care. Please, Lord Doha? Hmm. This is quite a conundrum. I'm not sure what to do. Yeah. Got it. Look, I'm not letting this book out of my sight, but you can take a look at it while we're here if you like. If I find any new books while we're traveling, I'll bring them to you. Does it work for you? Great. Absolutely. I really do wish I could have your book, but I'll gladly accept that as a compromise. In return, everything you have something to show me, I'll give you something special in return. <laughs> Lord Doha, I do hope a generous budget is forthcoming. The arts must be preserved. <sighs> Unfortunately, that isn't my call to make, seeing as I no longer serve as Lord here, but you make a compelling argument. <laughs> Don't be shy about bringing me lots and lots of books now. I'll be here eagerly awaiting them. Bibliophile. Uh, no, no, no. I want to see. I don't even know if I have books to give her, though. I hate that woman. <laughs> she was a handful, wasn't she? What's wrong with being passionate? 
Not to mention, she was kind of cute. Of course, that's why you like her. Hm. Okay, we have another. We have a book. Let's show her. Hmm. Secrets of the Stars. That's an old beaten up book you have there. What is it? I wonder. I sense such warmth from it, but also an aura of sadness emanating from its pages. Tell me, where did you find such a book? Well, it's a prized heirloom that used to belong to a certain clan. You could say I inherited it. That's why I can't give it away. <sighs> I understand now. You must forgive my keenness to obtain it. I'm sure you don't have it easy as a fellow book collector yourself. Nevertheless, I sense that your passion for them is quite genuine. <laughs> Will you bring me any other books you, you happen to ac uh, come across? I'd really love to see yeah. them. Sure. Happy bottle. Okay. Next. I don't think I'll ever quite warm up to her. We had a lot of books. You had Taming Water. That can't be. My word, for such a serene title as Nature's Beauty. This book is so ferocious, like a tornado. Truly heart or truly breathtaking. No. It's too powerful. I fear it's gonna blow my clothes straight off. Oh wow. Really? <laughs> He's blushing right there. Hey. Hey, what are you getting so excited for? I am. Uh. All you boys are the same. <laughs> oh no, don't get yourself down. You're too cute to be so angry. Wouldn't you agree, handsome? Uh -huh. Yeah, lighten up, Rinwell. <laughs> oh? While you're out searching for your next book, I suggest you read up a little on men and how their minds work. Rosemary. Why? Taming Water, a moving title if I ever heard one. It shakes me to the core, fills my heart with tears. <sighs> Such drama, such color. I'm going to be soaking wet before I finish. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Whoa. I can't turn my eyes anyway or away. Watch it. From what? I wasn't talking to you. Quit trying to butt in. Hey. I'll be taking that book back now. I'll bring you more if you're lucky. Hmm. But I haven't gotten to end yet. Magic emblem. Oh? My word, this tome truly really lives up to the radiant light of its title. With every page, it glows more and more brightly. <laughs> How joyous it must feel to have someone reading you. But I need you to calm down, okay? Otherwise, I can't see what ins what's inside you. Huh? Is it just me or is she talking to that book? Maybe she's having some sort of hallucination. You only get that from enjoying books so much. No way. You mean she's addicted to reading? That explains it. I never trust a bookworm. Hey! Don't lump me in with that woman. <laughs> Books are so wonderful for their ability to transport people to brand new worlds. What you see when reading them is nothing to be afraid of. Trust me, darlings. Red Rosemary. Okay, do I have the rare book though? I have it. Huh? Goodness, who would ever guess a book such as this existed in our that world? That can't be. Could it be? Could it be that you graced this with your presence from another world entirely? I guess... She's definitely got a volume or two missing in her head library. <laughs> That's what I've been telling you this whole time. Great! I won't lie, I'd rather like it when you look at me like that. Elder Cloak. Why? I must admit, you're quite a stupendous reader. Never would I have imagined there would be such an avid book collector here on Dana. I was so certain that nobody loved books as much as I, but it appears that I have met my match. <sighs> I feel so inadequate. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal, you know. Yeah. She's right. There's a lot of other stuff to enjoy aside from reading books all the time, you know. <laughs> oh, are you trying to console me? That's so sweet of you. Perhaps you could teach me just what you mean exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's blushing again. Absolutely, I'd love you to. You dummy. Damn it, love. <laughs> I can tell you two are rather close to one another. Make sure you take good care of him for me, all right? Uh. Oh, I'll take care of him, all right. You have my word. I'm so envious of you, truly. Honestly, it's nice. Uh, and then she has to come along and decide because we did. Hey, you're looking a little red there. You working up a fever or? <laughs> you dummy! What did I do? Yeah, the side quest here is mostly on the interactions of the character. It's not technically on the side quest itself, right? Oh, yeah, but we got a new item, right? For Rinwell? 
Elder Cloak. Wow. A little bit stronger. Okay, let's go to... What place is that? Nivira. Hey, Alfin. You mind if we take a bit of a detour? It's fine by me, but what for? Rinwell says there's a phantom flower that grows around here. We want to look for it. It won't take long, promise. A flower, huh? All right, let's take a look. Okay, let's check it out. Look out! What the hell is that? Hey! You want a piece of me? Stay calm, Law. It's coming for us. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. You just had a 300,000? Are you serious? What are you muttering about? Focus or you'll get hurt. Don't worry. I'll have this wrapped up in a flash. I'm ready! A really in an instant! Impact, Impact claw! Dance in the wind! But what did I tell you? Don't get in our way! I'll be saving you! In a bind! A rotate spear! Rachel's spear! Here's the evil! Back to the blade! Three blancer! Sleep now! What the? Flame? Help, help, I need heal. Watch out! It's changing its attack! I got wings. I owe you it's Pegasus now. Oh my god, I died. Can we even defeat this thing? It looks like it's gonna be hard. <laughs> Help. I can't even go closer, man. What the hell is this? Raging Cascade! Down on the your hands now. Creation! Healing circle! The waters of creation! Vacuum blade! I could do without the pain! Take a one shot again!
you hear me? To stop you dying? For the... Ah, right. Winds of heaven in here! Sir. Here. Okay, uh, heal life bottle. This is you. A wailing banshee of lightning. Can I not? That did it. Healing power. I can carve through one. Thanks, Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. I'll That'll bring you down. Block now. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. There you go. Don't run up. That'll make things easier. Okay, 200,000 now. What is this time? Can't it just make up its mind? I'm on it. Roti Fury. Now you see what I can do. You got this one covered. Frag it down. Annihilation. Take this. Where are you going? Blah blah blah. Calendar. Burning. Here I come. Here I come. Change? Oh, it's so bright. It's the pain is what it is. Blood I can't it. On your knees. Blood. Glacial sphere. Here the evil. Far enough. Back to blade. Free each dirt. Blow no, away. Oh, I'll bring start. you down. Oh, oh, it's on your knees. Drops in pain. Can't blood. get out of this. Blood. 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 Okay. Is that a healing arm? It is. I can't ignore your pain. Don't try me anymore, kid. Okay, she unfell. I need she on back. This is my fault. Jesus. Not done yet. 
Destroy it now! I leveled up and all and we're still dying a lot of times jesus what was with that creature True. it was some sort of a zoogle that could control light rinwell do you think that could have been the true form of the phantom flower no it couldn't be what makes you so sure because what the whoa what the hell is that is the enemy back for more Whatever it is, it's freaking huge! You guys, calm down. It's okay. It's probably... No, it's definitely the Phantom Flower of Nibira! I read about it in that book we found earlier. It was described as a mysterious light floating up in the sky. It's not dangerous at all. In fact, this is the place it was first discovered. So that's how it got its name then. You sure it's not some enemy astral art being cast at us? Positive. I think it's just a rare and unusual weather phenomenon more than anything else. Cislodia obviously used to be covered in darkness around the clock. But with that gone, I guess that's why we're able to see this again? You could be right. It's so pretty though, isn't it? Sure. But it's so big we could have seen it from town just fine, couldn't we? Well, sure. But still. Hey, who cares where we saw it? I'm just glad we got to see it at all. Besides, that Zoogle was what kept us from seeing it before, right? Yeah, I guess so. But she had just left. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous night sky here. You should really bring Shion out to watch it. Right. Right. I'll, uh, do that. It took a lot <laughs> to get here, but I can't help but feel like a dream of mine came true. Thanks, Law. I didn't do all that much, really. Well, I still really appreciate it. It made me really, really happy. Uh, hey, uh, you know I... Oh, it looks like you can see it even better from over there. I'm gonna go check it out. Huh? Hey, wait! Renwell. What is Law gonna say? No. didn't have a chance to say it I sense a strange power from this check out these biceps pretty glorious right why are guys so obsessed with their muscles because these puppies have yet to let me down 
<laughs> that was it. No, no, I mean, uh, we didn't really get a uh, nice, nice reward. Okay, so what's next? Finish this one, this one. What was here? Okay, Mount Diara. Thistleum? Okay, the Thistleum one. But yeah, that was nice. We had a voice We've acting reached our that destination. one. Hello, miss. No way. Notio, is that you? You're finally home. All right. Ah, uh, forgive me. I do believe you have the wrong person. My name is Dohalim, as it so happens. I'm new to this area. <sighs> oh, are you? Or are, are you the ones who drove out those zoogles? I'm sorry, my mistake. Hmm. Right not. It appears there's something troubling you, however. If it's not too much to ask, would you mind telling me a little about this Notio fellow of yours? Hmm. I can't, I... Is it hard to discuss? As you can see, we're but a roving band of misfits. We've seen much of on our own travel, so we don't shock so easily. Hmm. Well, in that case, my name is Kagari. Kagari. Notio is my lover, only he's a, he's a Renan. You don't say. I see. I can understand why you were hesitant then. I think it's it something happened to him. Up until several months ago, we used to meet in secret out of the village, but ever since then, he hasn't returned. <sighs> he sounded completely normal last time, though, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, not you. Anyway, he works as a guard in Pelagion. I'm afraid he might have will. Stay calm. Stay calm. There could be any number of reasons why he hasn't returned. At any rate, your story intrigues me. I feel personally invested now. We shall investigate this ourselves and get to the bottom of it. Really? You do that for me? Gladly. Leave this matter to us. For now, we shall make our way to Pelagion. Any records we find there should tell us where he went. Good idea. Hmm. With that, we shall be on our way. With any luck, we should have good news before sure. long. Yes, thank you. Missing a lover. Perhaps you shouldn't have gotten your hopes up. I felt moved by people whose love transcended the boundaries of race. I wanted to hope. I can see why you'd feel that way, I suppose. Okay. Level 3. Notio. Finally. If only we could have flown with the oh, wind to this get dude here again? faster. Hello. We meet again, Ganyi West. I see you're still well. <sighs> you people again. Don't worry. I haven't gone hungry since then. I've been thinking, though, about what it takes to believe and trust in people. I see. That's a rather profound question to contemplate. Forgive us for interrupting you in the middle of all that. However, we're looking for something. We seek any records or paperwork that the Renan forces may have once maintained. Can you think of uh, where they may have kept such things? Hmm. Records like these? Oh. Yes, exactly like those. Thank you. You've saved us some con a considerable amount of time and effort. It's fine. I trust you won't do anything bad with them. Okay, Notio. Hmm. Let's see. Notio, Notio. Ah, oh, here we are. What? Mission. Determining Lord Volren's whereabouts. Last transmission received from Menencia. <sighs> It appears communication was cut off and he's been deemed missing for some time and it is hardly bodes well. It's obviously an easy enough region for us to look for him, but whether we'll find him is another matter. Oh? Wait, judging by his location, could that soldier we met by the pond have been him? I see. Uh, you might as well be onto something, Shion. May I ask you to guide us yeah. there? Sure, but you owe me one later. The pond? But why Voron? whereabouts don't they know where their own sovereign is considering we've come across him the world over he's likely been operating on his own for a while now maybe even his own subordinates were just toys to him <laughs> okay Taika Pond Menencia finally if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. 
Oh, I didn't think I'd see you all again. Thanks again for your help earlier. Is there something you need? Wait, you're probably only here to fish, huh? Mm. Actually, we're looking for a man named Notio. Would you happen to know mm -hmm. him? Yeah, that's me. Why? What's going on? A woman by the name of Kagari has been worried for you. At her behest, we've been searching for you now, and here we are. <sighs> oh, my sweet, beloved Kagari. To hear that fate still binds us so. I appreciate you coming all this way to search for me. I really do. However, I need you to tell her to forget about me. What? What? I demand to know why. Has your love for her dissipated? Hardly, but if I leave now, I'll be killed for abandoning my post. If I can't see her again, then she needs to be allowed to move on with her life. At the very least, I have no intention of dying here. Call it selfish of me if you want. I don't care, but I swore I'd endure this assignment no matter what it took. <sighs> because I believe one day she and I would meet again. What? That's quite noble of you. Now, stand up straight. Such spirit is exactly what I like to see. Listen, the time of the crown contest is over. A new era is slowly beginning to unfold for both Dana and Rena alike. And I believe you two are a fine symbol of its full potential. Hmm. Or beautiful potential. Sir Notio, if you could be with your beloved once more, would you promise to remain steadfastly by her side for all your days? Mm -hmm. Of course, it's what I live for. All right. Excellent, then. I hereby relieve you of your duty. Uh -huh. Excuse me? I'm not sure I understand how that's possible. I apologize. I should have introduced myself. I am Lord Dohalim, the victor of this most recent crown contest. As you know, a Renan society is one that respects its hierarchy. With my protection, none may tread on your life for leaving. What? My lord, I didn't realize it was you. Forgive me. I don't know what I could ever do to thank you for such generosity. All right. You needn't do. <laughs> All right. You needn't do anything more than heed the promise you made to me here. Now, what are you waiting for? Get back to your dear Kagari already. Yes, my lord. Okay, let's go back to Kagari. Kagari, I got your man back. That was quite the little adventure we went on. True. Oh, she's he's back already. <laughs> Kagari, Kagari, tell me it's you. No way. Notio, is that really you? It is Kagari. It's me, Notio. I'm back. I can't believe this day has actually come. When I was given those orders, I thought I'd have to abandon my whole life with you. <sighs> but I'll tell you something, not a single day passed by where I didn't think of you, my love. I still can't believe this is really happening, oh Kagari. My sweet, wonderful Kagari. <laughs> How many times are you going to say my name out loud, silly Notio? Mm -hmm. It brings me such joy to say it with you by my side once again. Or, yeah, to be with you. I'll keep saying it over and over, even if you get tired of hearing it. Well. I hate to interrupt uh, while you two are clearly having a moment, but... You don't mind if we take off now, do you? That can't be. No. I don't feel like you all have to leave. Please, let us return the favor somehow. Sure. Absolutely. We'd be terrible to turn you away after you saved our relationship. Mm. In that case... Perhaps you'll allow us the honor of attending your wedding. Although I must shamefully admit I've never been to such an event. Oh, it'd be an honor to have you all there. In fact, we'd love for you to officiate it. Lord Dohalim. Ooh. We both come from such a different cultures. So we don't know where to start, but if you per presided over it, I'm sure it would turn out great. Agreed. If you're certain that's what you want, then I'd be happy to do so. Once you decided when to hold it, send word to Pelagion. Until then, I bid you two farewell. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Oholim. We can't wait to see you again, my lord. I Is it unlock say, already, though? I wasn't expecting you to be the one to spoil their reunion. Well, uh, it was the same with Alfin and Shion. Too much affection can be hard to bear. In fact... You look sort of pleased, Dohalim. I have the privilege of witnessing their new start together. Few things can mar such joy. What if it were you? What indeed? We don't have it yet. 
Mount Dior. Um, no, 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 no. I guess this is it for now for the side quest. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was gonna unlock. Apparently not. See nothing. Maybe it'll unlock uh, later. We finally made it. Maybe if you rest. With this much money, we can buy all kinds of weapons, guys. Yes. Okay, we got grilled wrapping. Pancakes. We got. We also got this one earlier, right? Let's create this pancake. With the Shion. It's finished. Hopefully the others like it. Let's talk with Dole. Don't leave. Care if I hang out for a while? <sighs> You worried about what's going on with Menencia? What makes you think that? Well, you were speaking to Kisara earlier, weren't you? It's rude to listen in on others, you know. Sorry. I didn't hear what you two were actually talking about, though. I just figured it was Menencia since it was the two of you. I am but a former lord who has abandoned his post. I'm no longer in a position to lead the realm in any capacity whatsoever. Yet Kisara still seeks out my opinions, knowing full well that is the case. This despite the fact I am no longer her master either. Couldn't it be precisely because you're not her master anymore? It's natural for friends to want to hear each other's opinions. <laughs> I hadn't considered that possibility. It's funny what you miss sometimes. Hardly uncommon among artistic types such as myself. When lordships are decided based solely on one's astral energy, it can lead to funny results. But even so, you still took your job as lord seriously, didn't you? Certainly. I learned to perform my functions. However, I was less interested in ruling so much as avoiding life and death decisions. Of course, such a mentality in the end led only to sickening pain and death taking place elsewhere out of sight. I pretended not to see or hear any of it. Content to let our supposed peace and equality keep me blind and deaf to reality. I was a fool. But you're making amends. I would like to think so. The path ahead is dark, yet I still walk on. I merely pray that I shan't fall down any holes along the way. We'd best get ready for tomorrow. Shall we get moving? Okay, let's do one more. One more. Do we have uh, enough food stock? Skit. Grilled wrapping is the one we got, right? This is a true masterpiece. No less than culinary art. Oh. Wow. That's some weird-looking meat you're cooking up there. What is it, exactly? That would be grilled rapig. What?! Whoa there! What's the big brouhaha? It's rapig! How could you cook something with such cute little eyes? What'd it ever do to you?! I <laughs> fail to see what the problem is. Rapigs are perfectly edible creatures. <laughs> Having said that, I do realize it's become rather rare to eat them lately. What with people increasingly embracing them as pets and companions. They definitely didn't fall out of fashion to eat because of their flavor, that's for sure. Agreed. Rapigs have tender, fatty meat. The taste can take some getting used to, but I would argue that's part of its charm. If the taste is too strong, I imagine you can either just cook it thoroughly or simmer it with some herbs to mask it. Indeed. At first I wasn't sure whether to smoke it with spices or simmer it in water, but I opted to grill it as is instead. Seriously, Dohalim? You have the weirdest tastes. That's probably because when you live the life of a lord, you grow tired of most ordinary cuisine. So you end up seeking out more unusual food. I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, putting aside what it used to be, you've got to admit it does look pretty damn good. Meat is meat after all. That reminds me. I do believe I once read in a book about rare delicacies, how one can go about preparing an owl. <laughs> I suppose I won't have the chance to try it anytime soon. Not with Hoodle, you won't! <laughs> okay, 
I can spend any uh any day with him. Fine. Don't, Don't leave. Care if I hang out for a while? Do you mind watching our camp tonight? Okay. Sh nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Okay. So yes, uh, we will end well, we our e we will end our episode there. I mean. And yeah, the side quest we did today was pretty fun, right? So maybe we'll do some side quests more. More of the side quests, I mean. If something unlocks, like the wedding, right? Hopefully there's something like that unlocks. The Pelagion one. With, yeah, Notio and Kagari, right? But yeah, we'll just have to see. So the other sub quests are way too high level. Like, we defeated the, the boss earlier, but it was a struggle, right? It was kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. So I need to maybe get better equipment because yeah the level didn't matter. I I used a DLC to level up and it didn't it didn't even matter. Like I still died a lot of times, right? Pretty much like one shotting me from time to time. One or two two shotting me. I guess the the better uh thing to do is get better equipment. Yes. Better armor is what we need. So maybe we'll do some of the side quests if we have time. We're just gonna have to see as the story goes along, right? But as for now, we'll uh, end the episode. And next time, we're gonna go to Lenigus finally. We're gonna fly there. So uh, I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.